you, I'm riding a motorcycle. That's all right. No, no, go ahead. I'm, I'm just riding. All right, what's going on? One of the biggest problems we had with the Rocket 3 was the uh, correct speed rating for the tires. You could, the stock Rocket 3 speed rating uh, was only up to 150 miles an hour. We needed a tire that was rated for 200 plus, which meant a racing tire. The problem was there wasn't any racing tires that would fit the rear wheel. So Rob had to get a, a special one-off one wheel built in England and he was telling me it was about 10 days off. 10 days, that would be about, uh, what, the 16th or 17th? Yeah, yeah, well, all right. Oh, is that right? Oh, I didn't know that. Is he not feeling, is the surgery didn't go well? That'll be disappointing if he doesn't make it. Well, I understand that they're going to have two courses. So, hopefully they'll have two good courses. Normally at Bonneville, they have three courses. Um, so, we're only going to have two, which means the lines will be a little bit longer. The course, course one appears to be about a 7 out of 10, according to what they're saying. And course two is probably a six out of ten right now. You know what? I don't. You know, if we had some long waits, I think we don't need that many runs to do what we need to do. You know, I don't. I don't need eight to do what we need to do. I need. I'd like to have three for sure. That way, the first run, I don't. You know, I. I, I can get a good feel for the bike. You know. The front tire, what tire size t tire is that? A 1 what? 120, 70, 17, or what? 120, 75, huh? All right. Okay. All right. And is there anything else besides the rear wheel that you, you, you need to work on right now? We spend the next few minutes going over some of the things that's been done, all the updates that have been done, a lot of work Rob has went into doing on this bike. I'm going to show you in these slides. I think the uh, latest thing he just got through doing was putting on the rear shocks and yeah. telling me about the riding position, which is really crucial. And um, I think we've got pretty much everything done except he's got some safety wiring to do and he, of course he's got to get the rear wheel on. So the body work's done, so I think we're getting really close now. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I, once we get in there, I think I saw that there was uh, 196 cars and like 94 bikes or something like that. So it's a, it's a, it's a little less than they usually have right now. They'll probably pick up a few more, but but I saw that from from their newsletter it looked it looked all it looked all right actually it looked like it was a little thicker. So we'll wait till they, I know that it hasn't been dried out enough, you know. So we'll have to wait till they get it. They're out there doing a little bit right now, but and they'll do a little bit more once it dries out some more. Oh yeah, it's, it's going to be, it should be some pretty good salt. As long, long as we don't get any, as long as it stays dry for, for you know, for another month anyway. One guy I don't want to forget in this video is Mr. Bill. He's going to be my... He's been with me on a lot of these trips and he'll be an invaluable asset out there with us on the salt. In case you missed it, I'm going to put a link to the, uh, where we had the discussion with a bike at my house that we're going to run out of Bonneville. That's back in March. I'll put a link in the comments section. Okay. What? All right. See you later, Rob. Bye. Thanks for uh, 
I didn't, wasn't, didn't know I was going to get a call on my motorcycle when I was out riding. And uh, hopefully you heard part of it. At least my part of it. Maybe you heard some of what Rob had to say too. Yeah, Rob lives up in Seattle, which is quite a little ways from here. Uh, I forgot how many miles it is. It seems like it's 700 or 800 miles away. So it's a pretty good distance from where I live. So I won't... I won't actually see the bike again until uh, we get ready to run in August. And he'll he'll bring the bike down from Seattle and then we'll go all go together to the Salt Flats. So Black Cat Cafe, racers and oh Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.